All right, ladies and gentlemen, you saw the official Peacemaker and Janet Cage cameo gameplay trailer. And if you did it, you can check out my reaction right here. And the initial trailer is actually really fast paced. And so when you're watching, it, you're like, oh, there's so much going on. Like, this is just so cool. But now it's time to slow the trailer down and really watch it in slow motion and catch those little things that we missed. So subscribe here for more fighting game content. And let's get into this breakdown of the official Peacemaker gameplay trailer. And first things first, this right here, I'm assuming it's an intro or an outro or whatever, but part of me really really hopes this is like a tease for a friendship. Mortal Kombat 1 needs more enders. We need mercies, we need friendships. I would love to see some kind of like animality or babe outie or something, or maybe even a new one. But part of me really hopes this is a, again, a tease for a friendship, but we'll find out. The intros here are so much fun with Peacemaker and the characters. This right here, of course, is our very first look at Janet Cage, who I think Janet Cage is actually the first official like new character we're getting in Mortal Kombat 1, even though she's a cameo. Like Mortal Kombat 1, besides the guest characters like Omni-Man and Peacemaker, haven't really brought in any new characters to the franchise. MK11, we got Sentryon and Collector. MKX, we got Farrah, Tor, Takeda, Kung, Jin, Cassie. You get it. So I think Janet Cage is actually MK1's first official like brand new character again even though she's just a cameo but the gameplay here is actually really cool so what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna slow this down to at least half speed because when i first watched it i was like there's a couple things that really caught my eye there's a couple things that are pretty generic you know yes the blocking and the punches here you know kick and then a punch here or oh, shoulder slam the enhanced gun special move so he's he is definitely gonna have his gun you know be a projectile of sorts and we saw right there you can enhance it and right there it looks like when you do enhance the gun they are stunned and you can call in eagerly of course so they're stunned right here and before they fall you catch them you roll you catch them before they fall down again for combo extension that right there is a command grab i'm assuming so as they're falling uh from that combo you you know you you kind of oh, he like <laughs> freaking like somersaults forward so he calls in eagerly catches you rolls forward catches you again command grabs you head butts you and then are they stunned right here? That's gotta be like, that's there's no way that's a combo extension right there. Like that right here is just a reset, right? So he flips forward, it catches you, command grabs you, and then uh, I think resets the combo because Janet Cage comes in and goes, in my opinion, what is like a Sento stance because man, she's fighting you while you're fighting Liu Kang as well. So, and then and then Peacemaker uh, uh, teleports right here. He goes behind Liu Kang. Yeah, he kind of goes upwards, flies behind Liu Kang and continues the combo with Janet Cage, which is just, just insane. So if you ever wanted to use Sento, but you don't want to play Kenshi, well, Janet Cage is your new Sento. And, and then of course, Peacemaker just finishes the combo off here. Again, with Janet Cage, Oh my gosh. We're getting the helmet special moves, which is really sick. Another, so this, this is his actual grab with the shield, throws you up, slams you back down. Very cinematic, you love to see it. Oh, so Eagly special move pops you up for a combo setup. Janet Cage comes in, hits you, keeps you in the air. And then we have, of course, the gun projectile to kind of stop them as they're falling. So again, just replay that, Janet Cage hits you. And then we have the gun projectile, bop, 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 three hits. And that's, uh, I mean, it wasn't really a restand, but almost kind of like they didn't fall to a hard knockdown. They were kind of stunned there. So I wonder if you're fast enough, if you can do Eagly again after they are restanded in a way from this gun projectile. So they're like restanded right there. They're not fully hard knocked down. So there are probably some options you can do right here, whether it be with a cameo or whether it be with your special moves. I wonder if you can just shoot him again. You probably could, right? You definitely, you probably, you probably could do that. And then he teleports again, or he basically flies up, flies down, and kind of looks like he elbows you down John Cena style. Very reminiscent of like Garrus's moves or coming down like maybe Omni-Man does. Just something like that, which is pretty cool. Well, that's gotta be an overhead, right? Slams her back down. Janet Cage walks in and then whatever that is this makes me wonder like was this on purpose did peacemaker right here call janet cage out she's pulling out like the my moves right here and i wonder is this like you know a callback to of course like mime cage taking on the projectiles or does this move just take hits in general because we see it right here absorb the projectile so it does not hit peacemaker and i just wonder if that's like a absorb all moves kind of move or is it just going to absorb only projectiles and then we witness a sick backhand punch anti-air move from peacemaker keep her in the air with that dart move backhand again and knee it kind of like omni-man command grab again there it looks like slammer back down so the combo so far are actually really cool it looks like we got some great options for like anti-airs for having that reach that we want so something that people didn't really notice their first time around watching this right here is quan chi's portal is now 
what looks like visually different now will have a change on his actual moveset we're not quite sure yet we don't really see what happens with his moveset right here he gets like wrecked by by peacemaker right there but but the portal is looking visually different even when enhanced so there's looking to be some changes to some characters especially quan chi here Jana cage walks in nut punch love to see that that's another restand move and then of course we see peacemaker has a built-in projectile like absorption move so he takes it and then or reflex it at least reflex it and then he's got this uh, aura around him of course enhances his helmet burst pop him up slams him back down for an air combo so that air combo he slams him back down allows janet cage to come on in look at this bob slams him back down janet cage walks in now this move right here is actually a really cool easter egg it's a really cool callback to uh mortal kombat i think three where johnny cage had like a wall combo he would just hit you over and over again just like that that's really cool so janet cage does that so that'd be really interesting to see what characters can utilize that move very well with janet cage where she just pops you pops you pops you basically allowing you to to do whatever you want whether it be a trap setup or or another air combo or like whatever it is you have a lot of options right here for the janet cage cameo move and i you love to just see it man he flies forward slams you with his helmet and then another crazy thing happens so quan chi calls out his cameo at the same time right here Peacemaker calls out Eagly, and what we can see is that dude Eagly just attacks the cameo, not the actual character, not Quan Chi attacks the cameo. So I wonder if that move specifically is made for cameos, like just stop cameos, kind of like how Sindel has a move just like that. Or can this move also be used to attack the actual character if there is no cameo? Or if there is no cameo, do you does the eagle just like fly back away and doesn't actually attack the character? If that's the case, you gotta be really good at calling when your opponent's gonna call the cameo out. It is really cool, but I'll tell you right now, it's very situational because I know the Sindels that try to use the, the stop my opponent's cameo move, it very rarely actually happens. And when it does, it is really cool, yes, but it's just very situational. So I'm hoping that eagle attacks the character and if the cameos out attacks a cameo instead but we'll have to wait and find out because they don't use it again here at all but he flies up and as he's flying up you're gonna think okay he's gonna slam back down onto quan chi but we see here rather than slam down onto quan chi he actually just lands behind quan chi has what looks like a small recovery you see here he lands and he's like oh no recovery stands back up and is able to attack so i'm guessing that move allows you to, to decide do you want to land on top of your opponent you know maybe it's in the middle of a combo or do you want to switch sides and get out of a corner or put them in a corner so it does look like you have some freedom with that teleporting move which is always nice of course then we have the fatal blow and man this fatal blow is awesome starts off by the way i think that's going to be a low so be prepared to block uh, a peacemaker's fatal blow as a low that's gonna hit you if you're not blocking low. I can almost guarantee that one. Janet Cage's move, freaking hilarious here. Eagly attacks you, you love to see it. And then this pose right here is just absolutely beautiful. A shotgun between the legs. That is so freaking hilarious. And then right here, funny enough, uh, we see here, the shotgun blast actually creates a peace sign. That is so cool. What a fun Easter egg. Then of course we have the fatality with the jetpack. Freaking amazing. And what's funny enough is they turn the uppercut brutality into Janet Cage's fatality. And again, it's super, you know, fast, clean, simple. I love it. But we essentially can already do an uppercut brutality every match. So it's like, though this is cool, it's you're just turning that into a fatality. Again, I don't mind it, but I mean, it's pretty simple, right? I think a couple of the biggest notes that we want to take from this gameplay is the first thing and foremost, this, this, this like gun projectile enhanced does not knock back your opponent rather than stuns them, allowing you to continue the combo if you have the ability to do so with your cameo or special moves. So projectile, not a hard knockdown. That's kind of crazy. He's got what looks like to be a command grab style combo will it be a true command grab well, i can't really tell that is appearing right here and of course later in the same trailer janet appearing to have some sort of like sento callback right here because man she is just fighting alongside with you that's that's like the second hit and then three hits right here so we get three hits off of that oh psych i lied four hits so we get four hits off of Janet Cage. So if you call Janet Cage out and do that move, the opponent now has to worry about Janet and you again, kind of like they would if they were fighting Kenshi and Sento. That's crazy. Peacemaker has that teleporting move that can either knock your opponent down or you can land on the other side of them. You see Eagly right here, Janet Cage coming in, stopping your opponent. I love to see, she has some great moves. Again, so you're right there, you see it again, just, just one more time in, in an actual game, further away, not up close. You see the gun triple projectile 
stand our opponent back up essentially so rather than knock down like, like they would right there we stand our opponent back up stun them in a way and again you can teleport slam back down we got a good we got a really good anti-air coming up soon and Jenna cage can absorb moves or projectiles or all of them anti-air there pop them back up sick hit sick knee into a command grab move so we do we have like two command grab moves because that one is different than the first one we saw Quan Chi getting an updated portal it seems from what I can tell Janet so far has four different cameo moves the nut punch there the single hit in the air the sento forehead and then the three hits in the air right here so again from what I can gather Janet is one of those cameos that has a lot of moves it seems and from what I can tell they're all relatively offensive meaning like you're going for a combo extension air combo extension so though we're noticing some really cool things here uh I would I have more questions than anything, honestly. Eagly attacking the cameo. Again, I wonder if they can attack the character or just the cameos. Peacemaker able to teleport on the other side of our opponent, allowing for a follow-up into our fatal blow. So we got some really cool things when it comes to Peacemaker and Janet Cage in Mortal Kombat 1. I'm not quite sure how I feel about Janet Cage. She's just, you know, super offensive, which I love, but I also personally want more utility in my cameos. But who knows? Maybe she'll be my new favorite. I have no idea. Peacemaker by himself, I think just looks awesome. He has some great utility right here. Some great combos it seems and some really fun stuff going on with you know the teleport the projectile eagly his helmet it just looks awesome man but let me know down in the comments what do you think of peacemaker and or janet cage as a cameo in mortal kombat 1 are you excited for either one of them let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more mortal kombat content and go ahead and click into these videos next for more stuff